Eminem, a name synonymous with rap music, has deep roots in the battle rap culture. His journey from the streets of Detroit to global superstardom is a testament to his skills and passion for the art of rap battling. This video explores how battle rappers perceive Eminem, his contributions to the culture, and his continuous efforts to elevate the battle rap scene. Eminem's career began in the gritty world of battle rap, where he honed his skills and developed his unique style. He comes from an era where it was only the like pyramid style battles and then he was battling on record. So like this, like three rounds, three minutes, unlimited time, like you gotta write a whole album and rap a whole album's worth of material. Like it's not really his thing, but he's one of the greatest, most adaptable, diverse MCs of all time. As far as battling, I don't think Eminem could come and battle. Like, what? I Listen like to me Look, very, I, I, very carefully. Eminem bro. is top five. I'm man. disgusted at you for <laughs> being in this battle culture and actually saying you don't think Eminem yeah. can come battle. This is literally how he became Eminem to you. Yes. I understand. I'm talking about You're real life right. battles. I'm talking about we doing. He was doing that. This is what he does. Yeah. I have a lot of respect for um, Eminem as a battle uh, MC. You said you could easily beat Eminem in a battle. Easy. What? And it would be the easiest thing I ever did. Get out of here. He's a great rapper. Hello. But I'm the greatest. Wool up, wool up, wool up, wool up. I've been doing this all my life. Everybody else that's out there rapping, y'all y'all trying to do something that I already did 40 years ago. Make you don't do nothing, man. You know what you are? EP. AKA enemy of progress. See when 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 and when when, and when people and when people bring that up, and I don't even write like I used to write. Get out of right here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? No. Get Inibu. He has always been a passionate fan of battle rap, which is evident from his early days when he was simultaneously making records and learning the ropes of the studio. His involvement in battle rap is not just a part of his history, but a significant influence on his music and career trajectory. Eminem's journey in battle rap is marked by several memorable matches and contributions. Any rapper singing those kind of rhymes in this day and age, in this period of time, trying to battle Eminem is worse than David Starr trying to battle Proof IQ, B, Fat, and Bizarre. That's why you act differently. You ain't got no style, unless you like delivery. And I get back, I don't mean to boast. Look, my face is pale. Judges, his performance was stupid, though. <laughs> you don't think? Like, I ain't never seen shit like that before. It was just like a raw battle, and it was like they were at each other's throats. We battled six rounds. We battled six tiebreakers. Finally got me. But when him and Juice got into that ring or whatever, it was a panel of judges and an audience of people who were just like. What the? 
see what they saw. At the time, I was more famous than him, so he came up to me and said, when we battle, it's going to be nasty. Feel what they felt. I had never lost a battle, so when I lost, like I felt like my whole manhood was just completely stiff in me. His portrayal in the movie Eight Mile is a fictionalized account of his life, showcasing the intense world of freestyle rap battles. Let me turn this mic on. Don't think for a minute I'ma let you get away with that song. Cause that shit was whack. You ain't spitting. As a matter of fact, all of that shit was written. And I know it wasn't for me. Surely, you really must adore me. Now look it. Yo, you might as well move to Italy. Look, this guy's ripped. <laughs> Literally. You don't wanna really put this on this microphone. I'm not stuffing up the gifts, but I don't give a. You can keep that dope rap and turn your ass back around with your. What was that like? Like, take me through the process of how that even went down, bro. I almost got kicked off the set the day before because <laughs> me and my mans was like, we like, we was joking too much. Shouts to my bro, Fat Father. We was joking too much, so they kicked us off. Like, we were all extras. Like, everybody that was an extra in that movie was a rapper in the city of Detroit. This film is considered one of the most educational and insightful depictions of freestyle rap and battle culture. Around the time 8 Mile came out, I was starting to heal, feel hopeful about battle rap. And it was that point where my family in the Middle Eastern, they were telling me like, you're rapping, your cousins are becoming get engineers, job. get a f***ing job, what are you f***ing doing with your life? Go, <laughs> go f get a house, an apartment, get out of the f***ing house. Like, it, it was just that sh that I had to deal with at the time, you know? In, in, it was really tough, bro. Like, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, you know, there was times where I, you know, was like, what am I doing? But I just stuck to it. And I remember when that movie came out, it made battle rappers famous everywhere. So everywhere we went, people would be walking up to us like, oh, yeah. And they would be like, holy shit, this is actually real? Like, yeah, but it's not a movie. What you think? Like, people thought it was just a movie until they seen us everywhere. And it just gave us a crazy notoriety. It gave me a hell of a boost to keep continuing. I was like, oh, shit. if Eminem blew this shit up and this is the number one selling movie in the world, you have to know it was the number one it in was. the box. It was. So for that, and for me to see battle rap in that light, I had a new motivation to be, to be the best battler. So make sure it happens, you feel me? Through 8 Mile, Eminem brought the raw energy and skill of battle rap to a global audience, elevating the status of hip hop culture. How many kids got into battle rap through 8 Mile? Probably a billion. So, so let, let's talk about why you here today though, man. Uh, I'm doing a battle rap now. You're a battle rap there. Have you ever battle rapped in your life? No, but I watched the movie 8 Mile. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, I so he's ready. No, that's I'm really Crip crazy. I'm really certified. Yeah. Been DP five times and never stunk down shit. Ain't win everything, but I really pop that thing. I really do this gang banging, and I really yellow tape. Yeah, Normandy Western Ooh. Ave, motherfucker, that's where I'm from. Just come over there playing stupid, they gonna get chipped, go dumb. We really gang bang, and that's where I'm from. It's neighborhood, cuz. It's two fingers and a thumb. Over in my section, we leave motherfuckers resting. I'm from a small hood, but motherfuckers is really active. Real gang banging. Them guns stay tight. In 2014, Eminem, along with his manager, Paul Rosenberg, and the Slaughterhouse crew, launched Total Slaughter, a battle rap league aimed at giving the art form a national platform. On the biggest stage in the history of battle rap, Shady Films, Slaughterhouse, and WatchLoud.com present Total Slaughter. I do not feel everyone is on the same level as me. I'm here, and I know what I can to do. For the first time ever, 
Eight of the world's best battle rappers will live under one roof in battle tournament style for the opportunity to earn a spot on the undercard of this once in a lifetime event. This is really the jungle. It's kill and be killed for real. This summer, witness the birth of the next great American sports league. This is Total Slaughter One. Despite only hosting one event, Total Slaughter was a significant attempt to mainstream battle rap and provide a stage for the hottest MCs in the country. It was lit, right? Uh, we had a show. Uh, Dr. Dre, Eminem, battle rap, battle rap, battle rap. What up, Dr. Dre? Battle rap was, is, and will always be one of the key elements of hip hop. I can never get tired of seeing this when it's done right. Lyrics, lyrics, L lyrics. When nothing else matters except destroying and annihilating the mother standing in front of you destroying hunger delivery lyrics it's getting dirty just just like i like it that you don't usually see an established mc like joe button get involved with a battle like this disrespectful especially with somebody as sick as hollow the dawn but the shit is going down this is hip-hop bam and this is where you can witness some of the best of the best and i gotta see it right here on total slaughter house gang ah! we was out of here first of all yeah that's okay here's where battle rappers the game up because it's a lot of cut they nose despite they face mm. like you know when you just too proud where you just cut off every opportunity there's been some negativity though like in particular i've noticed a sentiment among organizers and league owners and my contemporaries the people that have helped build this culture to what it is to create this platform as to where it, battle rap is relevant enough for a major entity to come and take it to the next to that next level they feel like everything is to steal battle rap and mm -hmm. and so they make other battle rappers not want to become successful they us over. <laughs> Eminem, Dr. Dre was fully invested in doing, we had a television show on Fuse, they was invested because they, and, and the battle rap culture, they like, yo, this shit gotta go to the next next level. Mm -hmm. or the culture goes in, yo, what they doing? They coming in, they trying to they trying to make this into a spectacle. First of all, yeah. If you love martial arts, you should love the UFC because no. they turn this into the kind of spectacle that you can f that millions of people want to no, watch. Right. Yeah. It might not be what you're doing in your motherfucking dojo. Yeah. But right. This is the version. This that, is yeah, gonna. Yeah. This yeah. is that no. one. The, you know the motherfucking the one that one master in the dojo. Right. That that. <laughs> Eminem's involvement in Total Slaughter, despite its limited run underscores his dedication to the culture. Em is so in tune, though, and respectful. Because I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that. And I mean, obviously, you know, it's kind of where the scene that I come from. Eminem's love for battle rap extends beyond his own performances and ventures. Oh, he would have said that Em don't do shit or hasn't done shit for the city outside of the philanthropy that he don't, that ain't, you know, put out there Promoted like that. And all that. Like, yeah. I know for a fact that as a teenager, I got paid a lot of money per hour yeah. to do absolutely nothing but stand around and meet some of the greatest rappers in the world. He consistently gives props and shout outs to battle rappers, acknowledging their skills and contributions to the culture. Yo, I just want to um, send my condolences out to, uh, to the Pat State family and friends um bro i know we never got a chance to meet um but i've been a huge fan of yours for years and uh the level that you rap to is like the pinnacle of battle rap and it doesn't get any higher than the level that you rapped at um just want to say man we're, we're we're gonna miss you bro Hip hop is gonna miss you. We lost, we lost a legend. I was on a podcast today with uh, Dirt Nasty, you know, you know Dirt Nasty, Simon Red. Yep. And he was telling me, he was close friends with Alchemist. He was telling me uh, how Alchemist and uh, whatever, whatever, they were showing Eminem my battles, and Eminem was saying that I'm his favorite, and I thought that was really cool. Like I saw, I saw, um, what is it called? My extra, expert opinion with Math Hoffer, right? Right, right, right. And it was an episode where they were talking about the verse that I did on the Fat Joe thing. And I was like, these are the guys, these are the guys who if, if I was coming up like mm -hmm. as a rapper or just a fan of rapper, whatever, I would want to hear from them because 
they do this too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like game recognized game. That was dope because uh, the, at the time I was coming from a meeting at Fox and we just spoke about him in the meeting. The meeting went great. So I left the meeting. Um, I sent out a, I sent out a tweet saying, yo, I hope hope you guys like I hope I made the culture proud with this special. And right after that, I just started blowing up. So I'm like, oh, they probably excited about this Foxy. And then to see like the Emin yo, Eminem just shouted you out on the on, on Crooked Eye show. I was like, oh shit. Shout out to Crooks Corner. Crooks Corner. That was dope. That was dope, man. That was uh, dope. Definitely a surreal moment. You know, yeah. I took it like a win for me too. I was like, yeah. Eminem. No, it's a win for all yeah, of us, bro. It's a win for all of us. His efforts to promote battle wrap through various platforms, including movies like Bodied further demonstrate his commitment to the scene. Yeah. Hat on. You out there killing it, huh? That audience reaction, it's like heroin. Yeah. So, what do you do? I mean, besides appropriate black culture for your livelihood. Oh. She bodied you. Not tonight, Satan. Yeah. Whenever I battle, I'm gonna get the bitch box. And you won't get the Asian box, because that's what the audience wants to hear. Intolerance will not be tolerated! Delete your account. What you gonna do? You ready for this? Your crunchy granola. I can tell by your pungent aroma. We got bitches, blunts, pregnant prostitutes. This bitch got a wider gap than the income between white and black. Are you trying to satirize? If I did, then would you be satisfied? Stop rhyming, you little. <laughs> Eminem's relationship with battle rap is a testament to his passion and respect for the culture. From his early days in Detroit to his efforts to elevate battle rap through Total Slaughter and films like Eight Mile, Eminem has always been a champion of the art form. His continuous support and recognition of battle rappers highlight his deep connection to the culture and his desire to see it thrive on a global stage.